Oh, this is total bullshit. I've got a new address for this place. The dickheads have just moved and didn't bother to update their website, the assholes. So I've just made this walk for absolutely nothing. The people there don't know where the new address is. They have no idea where it is. I mean, what a way to do business. It's just a joke. I think I'll just get the manager to book the tickets or I might just take the bus out of spite. Because I'm so angry about this. It's just pathetic. Anyway, now I've got to go all the way back. Absolute wild goose chase. I'll ask the manager if I have to pay a, a fee to get the support. Good thing I remember the name of the company because otherwise they wouldn't have a clue who I was talking about. I've pretty well given up on uh, that receptionist chick helping me out. So she's not interested. She actually ignored me while she's talking to a couple of staff members before she finally acknowledged me. So she's just, I think she's just slacking up herself, doesn't care. So, not ideal. It'll certainly, it's a big black mark against uh, Saigon Pink uh, 3 Hotel. Oh, the other thing, she, the password she gave me for the Wi-Fi doesn't seem to work, so that's great. Luckily I already had it for my laptop, so I've got, got that in any case, which is more important. But I wouldn't ask her to lift a finger, she doesn't seem interested. So, because I got this other address. To, for the ticketing office for the uh, for the ferry, I'll give it one last chance. Otherwise, I will just go and uh, and take the bus. But I'd rather not. I mean, I really would rather take the uh, the river ferry. So uh, it should be just across here, the ticket office. The I couldn't find the address when I first looked it up on Google, but uh, then I looked up the name of the company. And when you know it, the, the address I was looking for came up as the ticketing office. So I can't work out the logic of, of Google Maps. They've got a logic of their own. But at least it did come up. Uh, the last thing I asked uh, Her Holiness at reception was, was basically whereabouts was it? Because she said she knew where it was. She's good at that. She would say she's... It's like she says the, the boss gets tickets for the other people, but... When I want them done, <laughs> nah, not interested. But, uh, and she also sort of said, oh yeah, I know where that is, this address. And he just sort of makes a vague sort of wave across this direction, which is fairly useless. I need something more substantial than that. But she's not gonna give me specific directions. That'd be far too helpful. So anyway, where I've got to go is over there. So it's a new part of town. I've sort of have wandered over here once before, I think. But I've got to go across the river. And uh, that's a first, I haven't done that before. So uh, it's a continuation of Pasteur Street. And I think we're just talking about here actually. Yeah, just down here where I've got to go. And this will take me into the area where the uh, where a few of the tour companies are for cruises and the like. That's the theory anyway. So we'll see how we go. I know I'm going the right direction, but we'll just see if I can get me how many enjoy this fine set. Should be the right. There's quite a few big buildings over there, it's quite surprising. Can't tell that from the map, but uh, yeah, quite a bit of development over there. I don't know if that's a good or bad sign, but uh, I've got to cross the road anyway and just find out. Should think I got my sunscreen on. Yeah, a bit of traffic. Give you a nervous condition when you go here, all that bloody noise, extraneous noise. It really is extraneous, it doesn't really achieve much. But, uh, Yeah, now, hopefully, that's the river there, I can see it there, actually, I think I need to go up here. And I haven't actually been over here before, this is good to do. Little exercise area. I've actually never wandered over here, so at least it's got me doing that. 
So this is uh, not marked as a bridge like this, it looks like going up an old road, which it's not. These steps are in bad. Inconvenient, they're just so tight together. It's a strange design, this it's easier to jump two at a time. This is part of town, look at this. Ugh. Now the Saigon River is a bit of a uh, sewer. And uh, this is the sort of development you'd expect, but there's some big buildings going up there. Looking back to where I'm staying over there. I think it might be the tallest skyscraper going up there, just a, next to uh, its Tesco. I think it's going to take the crown from its Tesco as the tallest. Looks like that might be the one. Yeah. Now, I just hope I've got a road just coming straight down here, hopefully. Because then I've got to go down here into another road. At least I've got the name of it. And then I do a left-hand turn that should get me to where the, the ticketing office is. Oh, surely someone down this area of town will know what, where this place is. Oh, here we go, there's steps again. Be careful with this. Well, it's easy going down on the map. Huh? I see it's perspective. Mmm, it's on my nose a bit. <laughs> but like I say, it's good to see another part of town. Bloody big city. Various business array up to, I wonder, in this idea. There's always groups of people having coffee and what have you. It feels good to have a couple of cups of coffee in my gut. I've got to say, the, uh, the Chinese tea is quite nice too, I don't hear that yet. You get that with a few meals, it's not bad. Yeah. Well, the road area looks quite nice. They've done a bit of landscaping there. This is obviously a development area. Part of the new Vietnam, I guess you'd say. I just hope they don't lose all of the old Vietnam in the process. That would be a damn shame because they've got a bit of history here. But unfortunately, I think they're pretty full on the development. I don't blame them when they do better themselves, I think that's good, but uh, as long as they don't forget their history. I mean, if you like bulldozing away, for instance, that'd be a, an absolute crime if it's all like that. But, uh, you know, we made a lot of mistakes in the West with our history. And uh, you'd hope that maybe they'd learn something from our mistakes. Yeah, it's funny, I'm thinking it's much easier to get around here than it is in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai was a pain to walk around. All the tourists, the crappy road. Whereas here, the actual footpaths are a good size. It makes it a lot more of a pleasure to wander around. I mean, it's a pain during the peak because there's just so many people, but right now, I, you know, it's, I like this city in the, you know, the French did a great job planting all the trees, the boulevards, the whole bit. They've done, they've done a really, really good job of urban planning. It's actually not too hot either. It's definitely cooler inside gone. 
down a place like Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is actually further north. Uh, it is inland. And it's a bit warmer than this. Not as warm as Cairns. But warm. But this is just pleasant. This is really nice weather. It'd be a degree or so less than what you're getting in uh, Chiang Mai. It just makes it that much nicer to wander around. Yeah, it'd take you a long time to explore this city. It really sprawls. This is actually looking pretty promising food. Oh, there's some good places along here. It's not that far away. It'd be great if I found something like one of the Stanley sort of food uh, trolley. That is fairly unique. I mean, there are others out there, but they're not that many. And uh, oh, look, there's a few places down there. That's great. Now, hopefully I'm getting to the road I need to be at. I need to check the name of this road, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the right one. But uh, we should get into the close. This must be heading towards the uh, this crossroad. Presumably, it's fairly close to the river. Wish me luck. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That would be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.